Hey, what's going on Guardians? TBL here, back to bring you guys another quick weapon review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the future Warcult submachine gun, the Stochastic Variable. This has been making the rounds as of late, as uh, one of the weapons that people have been kind of excited for, so I managed to get my hands on it, and we're going to be talking a bit about what the weapon has, what's good about it, what's bad about it, and overall how this weapon performs in PvP. Now I am playing the PC version of Destiny 2 here, but uh, this stuff will mostly apply to the console version as well, except you'll have a bit more recoil to deal with on, uh, on console. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the stochastic variable is of course an energy submachine gun in the 900 RPM class. That means it's coming with this lightweight frame, which grants it superb handling. Move faster when this weapon is equipped, gives you a little bit of an agility boost. For the sights, we've got the candle post sight, which gives it a short zoom. It greatly increases your handling speed and slightly increases your range. The torch HS3, which is a medium zoom red dot sight, it greatly increases your range and slightly decreases your overall handling speed. Now, the one that you choose is basically going to be determined by how much range you want on this. Submachine guns, of course, range is a very, very much desired stat on SMGs, as they can get outranged pretty quickly by most mid to long range weapons. So I go for the most amount of range because handling and recoil isn't really too much of a problem on PC. All right, let's move on to the perks. First up, we've got the all too important high caliber rounds. This slightly increases your range and of course gives you a little bit of that just mm, oh so beautiful bullet randomization for your enemies as you cause them to flinch all over the screen. This is of course a tier one perk in PVP right now. And it's actually really desirable on fast rate of fire weapons like this. Like you get an auto rifle or a submachine gun with uh, high caliber rounds. The more shots you're landing on people, of course, the more flinch they experience. And on these faster RPM guns, it's a lot of flinch to deal with. So this is definitely a desirable first perk. Add to that, we've got accurized rounds, which just gives you a small boost to your range. And finally, phase magazine, which increases damage while lowering your rate of fire and decreasing your magazine size from 36 to 30. Now this is a very interesting perk because of course it drops the RPM of this gun from 900 to 600. So this kind of makes it, this, this puts it into the same archetype as submachine guns like the Antia PD, which is very exciting because of course that's a very desirable SMG right now. But while this does increase your overall impact, you don't really get any of the other benefits of that archetype of submachine gun. You don't get the extra range, you don't get the extra stability or any of that kind of stuff. So really all you're kind of doing is lowering your magazine size, you're doubling this gun's impact, and uh, that, 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 that's certainly helpful in certain situations. But overall in my playtesting, I, I just found more consistency with high caliber rounds. I, I, I just found uh, that was a bit more helpful since this gun is still going to be operating in the same amount of range as a 900 RPM submachine gun. So just having that extra flinch there is really what did the most benefit for me. It is very helpful on weapons like this. All right, moving on. Finally, we've got Tap the Trigger. This grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on your initial trigger pull. This is a very interesting perk. It means that first pull of the trigger, you're going to be insanely accurate. It's going to be sticking to people really crazy, and then it'll get gradually less accurate as you continue to fire. And you definitely feel it with this gun. You can actually kind of take advantage of this. So if you, if you start firing on an enemy and say they kind of strafe away, you lose your shot, just stop firing, maybe descope, and then rescope and start firing on them again. And it'll be almost as if you never really lost your target. It's actually a really helpful ability. Overall, not too bad at all. But all right, so those are the perks. What are the other benefits of the stochastic variable? The stochastic variable has overall a much higher base range of 56, which of course dictates so much about the uh, PvP encounters in Destiny 2. SMGs get outranged very, very quickly. And when I talk a bit about this gun's overall performance in PvP, you'll run into that. Like you're gonna get outranged a lot. So having the most amount of range while not sacrificing too much on stability and whatnot is very good. This gun comes with great base stability for this archetype of SMG. An okay amount of aim assist at 52 and a recoil direction stat of 95. So this gun is going to pull a little bit to the sides when you play around with it. But overall, it's really not too bad to control. And if you slap an energy counterbalance mod, this thing could become a top contender, uh, at least when it comes to the class of energy SMGs. With its great base range and decent stability, it's not too hard to take advantage of this gun's competitive time to kill of about 0.93 seconds or 1.2 if you're getting all body shots. It's not quite as fast when it comes to body shot kills as stuff like the Royal Dispensation from the New Monarchy or the Hero's Burden, but it's still pretty good for those close range situations where you just need to burn somebody down really quickly. 
And I mean, when it comes to SMGs as a whole, that's basically what the class is for. So let's talk about my overall experience with this gun. Um, basically, it's pretty good, you know, if, if, you, if you're keeping it within your range, I know this feels like the entire story of weapons in Destiny 2, but at close range, this weapon is pretty darn good, but you will find yourself kind of being outgunned in certain situations. Of course, against auto rifles, you're going to get outgunned because they have much greater range than you'll be able to get with this submachine gun, so watch those mid-range encounters. And super close, if you're going up against stuff like The Last Hope and The Last Dance, if you're going up against somebody with hands, yeah, you're probably going to lose that encounter. They can just burn you down a bit quicker than you'll be able to with the stochastic variable. While this thing is absolutely great for catching people off guard and just burning through them with the quickness, I found that the most frustrating thing for me was just kind of getting caught in situations where I was just either being outranged by a hand cannon or the moment I closed in to uh, SMG range, it just whipped out a few of those uh, three round burst sidearms and just burned me down. But that's to be expected, so there's no real surprise there. Overall, this gun works pretty darn well in Crucible. If you're running the high caliber rounds, of course, at 900 RPM, you're just going to be lacing people with shots, and tap the trigger really helps with that. It keeps you accurate and just point it onto people and uh, if you get pulled off of your target you can kind of just like I said descope, rescope back in, get right back on them and finish them off. The high caliber rounds is really going to be where, uh, where things shine here because of course you're lacing people with that many shots. This gun's already got a pretty decent time to kill you're going to be throwing their aim all over the place, which is going to help you win more of those 1v1s. Watch out for those 1v2s, though, because you're going to run out of ammo on this thing fairly quickly, and you don't want to get caught reloading while uh, somebody's teammate comes and gets a cleanup kill on you. Running phase mag, of course, gives you, you know, that extra bit of impact. You can burn people down slightly faster, as a matter of fact. I, I found more often just with that uh, with that extra impact even though you lose that rate of fire but losing the benefit of the extra range and the high caliber rounds I don't know I just found more consistency running that first option another thing to note is that since this is an energy submachine gun it's really effective for burning down players who are in their super because of course energy weapons do a bit more damage to players who are in their super than kinetic weapons do so the stochastic variable provides a great way for shutting down some of those roaming supers before they reach you. Sorry, Arc Striders. But when it comes down to it, the stochastic variable is a real contender for the spot of best energy SMG. It's got really great base range, and its top tier abilities in high caliber rounds, tap the trigger, and phase mag can really give you a couple of options there to make this thing just really kind of stand out. Pair it with something like the Better Devils, the Dire Promise, the Mita, or the Nameless Midnight so that you can have yourself covered for long range encounters and then just let this thing take mid and close range to bank. The only other real problem with this gun is that as an energy weapon it is kind of competing with the Uriel's Gift for the spot of uh, high caliber rounds laced energy gun. But again, if you got those outer barriers of mid to long range covered with something like a hand cannon or a scout rifle, running this thing as your secondary option isn't a bad choice. You'll be able to absolutely shred up close. Just make sure you're paying attention to your range and you'll be fine. But alright Guardians, that's pretty much it for this review of the Stochastic Variable Future War Cult Energy SMG. Say that 10 times fast. Have you Guardians gotten the Stochastic Variable? If so, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this SMG. But anyways, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.